Uh, Bortle here. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and what's up, Bortle Nation? In today's video, I'm going to go over my deck profile I used at the last regional event where I finished X2. That's right, it was a small regional, about 90 players. Before we jump right into the deck profile, I would like to do a couple shout outs. Shout out to Cam the Man Neil for topping back to back YCS events. He's nice. And shout out to trollandtoe.com where you can use Team Bortle 5 at checkout to receive a 5% off your entire trollandtoe.com order. My goodness. And most importantly, shout out to you, Bortle Nation. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And if you're not part of Bortle Nation, just subscribe to the channel and don't miss those future videos where we venture off into YCS events, regional events, and get deck profiles for you, Bortle Nation. Oh, and I would like to shout out into the AM. Welcome back to the channel, Into the AM. Thank you for sponsoring this video. The clothing is just ridiculous, guys. I'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now. Check it out. I like the comfortability of these shirts, these graphic tees. I actually have a plain tee as well. They fit very well, guys, and at the same time, they're loose. They don't only sell t shirts, guys, they sell uh, jeggings, hoodies, all that stuff. Actually wearing jeggings over here. Love this stuff, man. It feels great. So do yourself a favor or if you're thinking about getting a gift for a loved one and get some into the AM gear today. Make sure to use my link down below in the description, guys. I'm going to pin it to the comments as well. And use promo code BORTAL10 to save 10% off your into the AM today. Now to the rest of the deck profile. This is post Age of the Overlord, so post Agob, and I made modifications of it post YCS Indie. So throughout the video, I can explain what changes I kind of did to the deck. Yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Triple Pudica, maxing it out. I think it is standard right now to run three of this card because the field spell is just ridiculous. Protects each of your trap tricks once by battle. So that's pretty good. And the, the fact that it's a built-in double summon, you need it. All right. Triple Mantis. You got to maximize your starters, guys. Which, uh, ironically, I believe uh, these three are your starters. You want to have these to start off the game, you know, to get your searches in and all that stuff. So we have Mermelo, Mantis, Pudica. And now our two ofs. We're playing two Arachnicampa. Protection for your back row is ridiculous. And next we're playing double Dianea. This is pretty much standard and everything because you want to do the basic trap tricks combo with Holtea to where you can set one of your trap holes face down, you know, from the graveyard. It's special summon effect with Sarah. So Dianea 2, I think it's pretty much staple at this point. So that's it for my trap tricks lineup. I'm not utilizing uh, Vesiculo. I don't think you need to ever play that card, but some people do play it. I just don't think you're needing it, especially with Arachnicampa out there and stuff like that. My, my opinion may change though later. Let's talk about some hand traps. Utilizing Draw and Lock for this event. In the YCS event, I was main decking Dimensional Shifter. And I think you don't necessarily need a main shifter because there's a lot of decks that it doesn't really do much to it. But at the same time, uh, Tarlaments are running wild so i may go back and forth but droll hits pretty much every deck out there and we're playing boss monster cash tier of finrear whoa finrear comes back into the main deck it's kind of a pseudo hand trap if you really think about it and it's a really cool mini boss monster but obviously if you're running finrear and going to standard trap tricks combo with like parallel exceed or shade Burdine or even holtea you're gonna hit a, uh, a Nibiru before you make that uh, fifth summon of Reflacia to protect your board from, from Nibiru. Alright, spells. Triple Prosperity, just maxing out of the consistency. You gotta run Triple Prosperity. And yes, hurting your extra deck kinda sucks, but at the same time, you, you just have to play this card. Trap Trip Garden, I play two copies of Garden. It allows you to play the game if you have more than one starter Trap Tricks monster, you know, uh, just in case they negate your Mantis, you get to continue to, you know, additional normal summon and get in there. So that was it for my spell lineup, guys. Uh, it was pretty decent overall. I liked it. What was different here, the YCS event, I mained 
I believe two or three Book of Moons against uh, fusion type decks because they can still fuse with their face down monsters. However, it was still a great card because it was kind of like another mini Floodgate Trap pull, especially if your Surus turned off. A lot of times I had my Sura like destroyed or negated some, some weird way and couldn't combo off with my trap hole uh right you know lineup speaking of traps let's talk about infinite permanence uh that's pretty much it for our hand traps we're playing imperm and droll for this event we are remaining evenly matched for the ycs event guys i wasn't even playing this card i kid you not i threw it in my side deck and then when i was uploading my side deck apparently i rolled uh <laughs> cosmic cyclones instead but yeah evenly matched it was really good, especially against Rescue Ace. So game one in the regional, I was able to evenly match a Rescue Ace player. Did pretty well, but game two, unfortunately, evenly match wasn't enough. So I wasn't able to close that game. And then uh, game three, uh, you know, was able to win that matchup. So that was pretty cool. Here's some spice that I ran for both events. Goes in match. I main deck goes in match. This is the reason why I wasn't utilizing the uh, parallel exceed combo because that is not an earth. And why I stuck with the uh, Fenrir because Fenrir is earth, right? So if you can stick with Fenrir summoning Sarah, uh, and if you're lucky enough, you can still push through with Holtea to like, you know, have either Felicia play on the field and stuff. Uh, for Felicia, Fenrir, and Sarah, that's good enough, I think, in my mind. Solemn Strike. All right, in the YCS event, I ran three copies of Strike. Strike overperformed. It was crazy, especially when you're negating, like, you know, uh, SP Little Knight summons or, or just anything in general. If you're about to get Zeus, it's a great card to negate the Zeus summon or just negate Zeus's effect overall. That was basically the difference here. To keep this deck to 40, I cut the third one out for this regional event. But Solemn Strike was just so good. And to combo off Strike and Gozen was just nice too for going second. You know, especially if they go uh, Baron, negate the, the Gozen or whatever, or anything. And then you Strike, destroy the Baron, and then whatever's left on the field, that's they're locked into Gozen match. I am playing three copies of Holtea. You will always forever ma uh, main three of this. I don't think this will ever change ratio-wise. And if you haven't noticed, I'm not playing any shade brigadine or parallel c to re <laughs> reoccur an old segment who built your deck i don't know what was going on with me to where i'm like you know what let's cut these extenders out completely because i want to rely on goes in match and the main deck goes in works a hundred percent but with extra deck cards goes in match is very iffy at best that's why i didn't optimize all my extenders for this for these events and lastly one grave diggers and one trap hole this right here, um, this is a very small, small trap hole lineup. I missed playing additional defensive trap holes, but at the same time, I was trying to utilize goes in match to its fullest and somewhat solemn strike as a defensive trap hole or defensive trap. So let me know what you think about the main deck overall in the comment section down below, guys. I played 40 perfect 40. Oh God, yes. Now let's go ahead and talk about our extra deck. So play triple Sarah, you have to. Sometimes you're gonna pot one out, easy target. Nightmare Cerberus, I played this because it was an earth and it came in clutch by uh, popping face down special summon monsters in the main zone where they were like iffy. Uh, I needed to get them out of the way and plus uh, you can draw a card, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Cerberus, you're nice. And speaking of nice, Adipus. So for the extra deck for both events, I will tell you the changes I did in the YCS event. I ran two Adipus and uh, both events, I pretty much ran the core of everything. So SP Little Knight was pretty nice overall. I liked it, but again, it's a dark, so it conflicts with Gozen Match. You're not always going to have Gozen Match, guys. So for the games you don't have Gozen Match, you can um, go ahead and, you know, Utilize Little Knight. This card by itself is really good. You can splash this into many decks. I'm a huge fan of this card. I loved it. And now let's talk about our Exceeds. Dweller. I ran Dweller for the regional. I did not run it for the YCS event because, again, it was the uh, pesky, you know, Gozen match <laughs> that I was maiming. You're not always going to have that card, guys. So Dweller is really nice. And speaking of nice, let's talk about our other Exceeds. Uh, Trap Tricks Alamaris. Trap Tricks for Flasia, and Pangulica, Kula. 
I ran two copies of this in the YCS event. So they were basically easy pot prosperity targets to like, you know, banish out. But Pingula, I love this card, man, because if you pair this with Adipus, it's 3,500 attack. Don't forget about that thousand boast you get from Adipus. Baguska, Baguska overperformed. It's an earth. I loved it. It's great stuff, guys. There's a lot of ways for decks to, like, you know, get rid of Baguska, Tarlaments. They have traps that can, like, you know, straight up get rid of it. And Type Thief for Doer, it's a uh, dark, so again, you know, it doesn't pair so well with Gozen, but certain matchups, you're not always gonna have Gozen, you know, that's why there's a side deck. For the Weissen event, I did not play Cowboy, but for the regional, I did play Cowboy, and this did come up in a game, it's an Earth, so yeah, bang bang, Cowboy. <laughs> and next, we play Typhoon, man, I am so in love with this card, this card is crazy, but yes, it is a dark, so again, you must be careful how you utilize this card. But the fact that this turns off, like, you know, Baron, Dispatier, this is just crazy. You just need more protection for it. If you do not wipe their board, they're just going to attack this over or, or something, right? So... Uh, going forward, I may need more protection for this card. This card is ridiculous. The fact that you can throw this on like a normal summon, uh, any monster, don't do the effect because if they pop that monster, let's say you're done. And Zeus, uh, it never came up, but hey man, it may come up. Side deck. All right, they're the shifters. I made them for the YCS, but for this event, I opted to just side them. So again, uh, against Tarlaman, you have to play shifter, guys, because that deck's pretty scary. Alright, and Book of Moons. I believe that I made two copies at the YCS. And for this event, driving over to the uh, to the regional, I opted just to throw them out of the main deck and throw the Drolls instead into the main deck. And I like the Droll lining up a lot better. Drolls just hit a lot of decks, you know, going second, obviously. And this is really great going first and second. So Book of Moon is just so strong, guys. I think it's a lot better than Eclipse because you can negate Eclipse with Ash Blossom. And for our back row hate... Two Lightning Storms and a Duster. I don't think I'll ever change this lineup because going second, you need strong cards like this depending what matchups you face, where whether it's Flunder, you know, uh, Labyrinth, stuff like that. You got to have blowout cards for back row. And we play Dimensional Barrier. And lastly, Anti-Spell Fragrance. I didn't use Solemn Judgment for both events. I opted to use Anti-Spell instead. And Anti-Spell is just so strong, guys. The fact that you can shut off you know, other normal spells like Lightning Storms, Triple Talents, uh, Thrust. It's just really great card. I do somewhat miss Solemn Judgment because I had someone evenly me uh, at the regional and that cost me a game because uh, evenly is just so strong, guys, and it hurts a lot. So if you suspect you're going to get hit by evenly match, summon that Redoer and you'll at least have a Redoer and whatever else you save from evenly. And the end phase if you're still alive. That's pretty much the deck profile, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, guys. I love to hear your feedback. And together, we can make this deck great again. And do you think I was mad for not playing any of the extenders? I want to know your comments. Make sure to like the video, too. And if you're not a part of Bortle Nation, sub to Bortle. It's that easy and it's free. Oh, God, yes. That's going to be it, guys. Bortle out.